and I would like to introduce our, our next speaker. It, is an, it was an honor earlier to have the 72nd Governor of Virginia, Terry McAuliffe, come and speak uh, and talk about how he turned the page uh, in a big way in Virginia uh, for LGBTQ people. Uh, by you know, The first thing that he did was sign an executive order banning discrimination uh, against uh, state employees based on sexual orientation or gender identity. And that was amazing. Uh, what was also happening that didn't get quite as much press because it wasn't the governor at the time, the lieutenant governor, Ralph Northam, uh, also served as the tiebreaker in the Virginia Senate. And a lot of bills came up that needed that tiebreak. And he was there to make sure that those things, those awful bills did not make it, even if it came up to a 50-50 split. And he really uh, stood there and, and, uh, and stood up for our community. And now I am proud to introduce the 73rd governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia, Governor Ralph Northam. Well, hello, Nova Pride. What a great group of y'all having a good time. What a... What a beautiful day to spread some love and just thank you so much for having me today and letting me say just a few words. Uh, as the governor of the Commonwealth, I know you heard from the previous governor, Terry McAuliffe, and I know he was happy to be out here, but I want to welcome everybody to Virginia. And I just wanted a show of hands out there. How many of you are not from Virginia? All right. So here's the question for you. What's taking you so, so long to move to Virginia because you know our saying our motto in Virginia Virginia is for all right so there is no excuse for not everybody to be in Virginia uh, you know I I uh, want to thank you all for allowing me the opportunity to be the 73rd governor I see a lot of my friends in the audience and I would not be here now if it wasn't for you all that got out there last year and made a difference and knocked on doors and, and made phone calls. And I, I just want to remind you that these elections have tremendous, tremendous consequences. And we have some very important elections coming up on November the 6th. So I encourage you, all of you to go out and exercise your right to vote on the 6th of November. As I said, the first thing I did after I was sworn in as the 73rd governor, I signed an executive order barring all discrimination in our offices across the Commonwealth of Virginia. Now, the point I want to make, we have made a lot of progress in Virginia, but I hope the governor doesn't have to continue to sign these kind of executive orders. We need to make sure that we continue to promote equality for everybody in Virginia. And I will remind you finally of something that I talk about all the time, and this is something I'm so proud that we advocate for in Virginia, we live in a very diverse society. It is becoming more diverse every day, and it is the diversity of our society that makes who we, makes us who we are, not only Virginia, but in this country. And so as long as I have anything to do with it, we will be, be inclusive in Virginia. It doesn't matter the person that you love, it doesn't matter the country you come from, the color of your skin, or the religion that you practice. We welcome people to the Commonwealth of Virginia. Our doors are open, our lights are on. So thank you all so much for having me here today. I hope you have a great festival and come visit us in Richmond. And remember, Virginia is for... Thank you all so much. I've been able to be lucky enough to introduce a lot of different people and be on stage with a lot of uh, amazing performers, uh, statesmen, uh, to artists, that you can Oscar winners, Grammy winners. But I've never been somewhere where they arrived in a helicopter. You'll never be cooler than the governor riding, arriving in a helicopter. Now as uh, the ladies in the band here, but with the Jezebel, now that would be a great newspaper, uh, a Washington pay, uh, Post article headline, the governor with the wicked Jezebels, but uh, they will be performing shortly. But I do want to say, and I think I mentioned this earlier, uh, we are very lucky to live in a time where the governor and former governor of the Commonwealth of Virginia would take time out of their busy schedules to come join us at a Pride Festival. And I do want to mention, we want to thank the EMTs that are here today. 
thank the fire uh, fighters that were here today, and we want to thank the police department. I saw some um, uh, DC's finest who were up there uh, earlier, uh, making sure that they know that they have a division that's welcoming to us. So we want to thank all the fire and police department for being here today. And, and I see some state troopers now. And uh, before the governor leaves, I want to talk to him about a parking ticket I got in uh, Old Town.